Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how I'm going to build the hub for the turbine, as well as fastening the whirl pipes to the hub, and how I'm going to build the vessel itself. So what I'm going to do is reclaim some materials. Here's my sketch. It's very rough. Basically, the way it's going to work, this is a 55 gallon drum. This is a satellite dish that will be welded to the drum. These will be supports and drain pipes to support the satellite dish and the weight above, as well as drain the water, which is sucked up the hub, thrown out the whirl pipes to the fluted deflector ring down and back into the drum. So this is just a rough idea. Um, I'm sure there's some hydrologic issues with my thinking here, which I'll have to navigate, but it's the basic concept to reclaim satellite dish, metal satellite dish, cut out the circumference of the drum, weld it to the, uh, weld it to the drum, install the drain pipes, and what I'll do is I'll have two satellite dishes with a spacer ring, which will also be the fluted deflector ring. So this spacer ring, I want to design this such that I can remove and um, put different spacer rings in to experiment with different designs. The motor is going to be attached to a timber frame, which will be set on footings so that the vibration from the motor translates to ground. And the hub is going to be derived from a pylon, because why not? So what I'm gonna do is fill this pylon up with wax. This is just the raw form. And I'm gonna take it outside on my pottery wheel, the, the wax that I remove from this form and carve it into the hyperbolic funnel that is shown in the drawings. I'll also carve the counterclockwise rifles that will assist in the water's uptake into the whirl pipes. The lid is gonna be a separate attachment which will bolt or rivet on top. So the lid will the lid will contain the um, bearing and shaft uh, mechanisms. Okay, and to install the pipes, what I'm gonna do is when I make this wax form, I have these small wax, these are, this is the top of the kudo horn. So when I electroform the hub, so this turbine is gonna have three kudo, this turbine is gonna have three uh, whirl pipes. These will be attached, um, these will be an integral component of the hub. And the way I will install the whirl pipes, if you can imagine, if you can imagine this is, imagine that this is, uh, that is attached to the hub. And my plan is to take the whirl pipe and slide it through and pull it tight such that it has about six inches of solid bearing on the hub. Um, I hope that makes sense. So imagine this will all be wax and there will be three of these upper parts of the horn that will fasten into the hub and the whole thing will be electroformed as one unit. And then when I install the pipes, all I need to do, because the diameter of these is gonna be slightly larger than the diameter of these, I'll be able to pass the horn through the top of the hub and slide, twist it through and pull it tight, soldering it or brazing it onto the hub itself. So the idea here is to get a solid bearing on the hub. And that is my thinking how I'm gonna do it. 